We are nine days into the new year, but are you sticking to your resolutions? Maybe you're struggling already. Well, fear not, because help is here. Please welcome hypnotist to the stars, Paul McKenna. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Lovely Lovely to you. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you too. We all need help on some sort right. of level, so we're going to get stuck in. Nadia, take it away. OK, so we've had a question from Dan, age 27. He says, I struggle to be confident and like myself, especially with the pressure of social media. I always compare myself to how others look and I want to feel attractive. Mm. So, Paul, how can we get more body confidence? OK, uh, a lot of people have this issue. I mean, this is how they do it, right? They, they look at themselves first thing in the morning and they're very critical. They go fat face, funny nose, big ears, whatever. They say all kinds of stuff that they would never put up with uh, being said to them by somebody else, to themselves. And then after they've done that, they go off out for the day and not feeling yeah. so great. So I have a technique that works really well for helping people to feel better that you need to practice. In fact, let me demonstrate it with you. Okay. Nadia, if you step over here for a sec. Right. Uh, there's a mirror here. Okay. Uh, one of the things I, I like to do, you see, is, first of all, I like to think, some, some people say, I can't feel confident. I say, but think about somebody who you think is confident. Now, so it might right. be a famous person, it might be somebody you know, but what I do is, I say I'm, I'm thinking, who, who's confident? Like James Bond. So I might imagine Sean Connery there and I, I would step into him. And then suddenly I'd have that, you know, that, that sense of uh, masculinity, yeah? OK. So I want you to think about somebody <laughs> who's really confident. When they look in the mirror, they go, yeah. You know, that's okay. sort of thing. OK, yeah? OK. OK, yeah. can you tell us who it is or is it secret? Uh, it's Jane Moore. <laughs> Jane Moore, fantastic. Right, OK, so imagine Jane is here, right? Right. Yeah, now close your eyes and step into Jane. Doing? That's it. Step close your eyes, step into Jane. That's great. Now... That's it. How does Jane feel when she, when she's uh, that's it? Yeah, she feels good, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, Jane looks good. She feels good. There you go. That's it. Now here's the next bit. This is the really important part. Yeah. What I'd like you to do is to is to remember a time that somebody paid you a compliment, right. and you believed it, and you felt good. So you knew they were sincere. You know, uh, the sort of thing are uh, somebody says you look really beautiful tonight, or or maybe some one of your friends says, oh my friend thinks you look really hot, and you have a sort of cheeky walk for about half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. So th th I remember that time like you're back there again now. See what you saw. Hear what you heard and feel the good feelings. And keep going through the memory, that's it. Make it, make the colours rich and bright and bold and the sounds loud and the feelings strong, that's right. And tell me when it feels really, really good. That's right, yeah, and now, when it feels really good, keep hearing that compliment and open your eyes and look at yourself in the mirror. Feels good. Feels Ooh. good. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Jane. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm not afraid. <laughs> feels good, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Changing the way that we think, isn't yeah. it? And like I said, that's just one topic that's come in today. And I know, Judy. Yes, question sleep. from Jane. I'm really struggling with sleep. Mm -hmm. I'm getting an interrupted amount each night and it's ruining my mood. So, Paul, how can we improve our sleep? There's some very simple things. First of all, it's about 30% of the population. It's wow. a really big issue nowadays. And there's some very simple things. I mean, people know about cutting out the caffeine after midday mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff. But um, if you are laying in bed awake doing this, like a lot of people going, oh, I've only got like five hours, oh, I've only got four hours <laughs> yeah, and that, yeah. and winding yourself up. Mm. Get up and do something boring, right? So do your accounts or go and clean the toilet or something like that, yeah? The other thing as well is before you go to sleep, watch what it is that you're watching. So, for example, if you're watching an action movie and it's all exciting, you're going to be all adrenalised, you know, you're going to be all cranked up. So... I would say watch something really boring or do meditation or, or some hypnosis or something like that. And then there's one other piece of advice that comes from the scientific research that shows that, and this is a really simple thing, which is get up half an hour earlier than your normal waking time. So if you normally get up at 7, get up at 6.30. And what that does is that resets your body clock somehow magically. Uh, a massive proportion of people find that suddenly wow. they sleep deeply. Just that That's 30 different. minutes can make yeah. a difference. Yeah, that affects me as a comedian. When I come home, I'm so hyped, I need to just wind down. Sure. So yeah. Taking notes. Take notes. <laughs> OK. <laughs> now, you have got sort of 60 seconds. You did this before, actually, Paul. A lot yeah. of people got in touch the last time that you were on the show. So in 60 seconds, you're going to speak to everyone at home. Right. And you're just going to try and sort of reset, reset the clock almost, reset our minds sure. and make us feel the better versions of ourselves. Well, and the reason is um, because... Um, 
a lot of people, you know, set their goals for New Year's resolutions and about 8% of people actually, you know, attain them. In fact, I think by the third week of January, most people have stopped going to the gym or they might have fallen off the mm -hmm. diet. And that's because they try to do it in a too big a go, right? Okay. So if you break something down into chunks and you do it a little bit at a time, uh -huh. uh, you know, just take one step each day towards your goal, you're more likely to achieve it. When I okay. gave up sugar, I just... Because I used to have two spoonfuls in there, I just knocked a bit off the spoon each day and a bit more, a bit more, a bit more, till it was gone. So if you're watching at home, I'd like you to think about... What what your big goal is, but I want you to think about the three or four steps before that. So if it's losing weight, you don't imagine you're five stone lighter, you just imagine you've lost a few pounds, yeah? So what I'd like you to do is to imagine that you've just taken one step closer to your goal. What will you see? What will you hear? And what will you feel? Just imagine it, imagine it vividly. Let your mind and body know, yeah? And then take another step towards your big goal. Yeah, so you haven't achieved it yet, but you've just done something more towards it. See what you'll see, hear what you'll hear, and feel how good you feel. And then, from this place, imagine you're getting even closer to your goal, but you're not there yet. How will you... How will the world look? How will you feel? What will you say to yourself? What will you see? What will you hear? What will you feel? And then, from this place, imagine you're really, really close. In fact, imagine you've achieved your goal. What will you see? What will you hear? And how good will you feel? And then remember that good feeling and keep it in mind in the future. Mm. 60 seconds. You need to play that back and listen to that every yeah. day, don't you? Yeah, you really yeah. do. Mm. Yeah. You're back on tour, Paul. I know we're just yeah. about to go, but there's lots more of this, basically. This is a very condensed version of what you do. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. So if, you, if you come and see it live, I, I spend about 90 minutes um, you know, doing things with people in the audience. It's very interactive. Yeah, OK, fantastic. Thank you so much, Paul. We Thank all you. need a kickstart in January. <laughs> You're the man. Paul McKenna, everybody. <laughs>